Well, much like Castlevania Symphony of the Night, you are probably sick to death of me talking about this game, but today is a very special day. Castlevania 64 is celebrating its 25th anniversary today. The North American release, 25 years ago. And wow, I can't believe it's been 25 years since Castlevania 64 came out. I vividly remember getting this game. I remember it, because it launched in January, it was a game that I got after I got an N64. I think I got an N64 in 98. Yeah. And so this is one of the first games that I bought after, because I got Zelda at launch. And after that, I think I bought Mario 64 used off a friend of mine for like 15 bucks. So I was playing that. And yeah, I think Castlevania 64 was like one of the first games that I bought for the system, like on my own. This is like a brand new game when I bought it. And I rem I loved it. I, re I remember playing it and really enjoying it. I was reading all the stuff about it in Nintendo Power. I mean, I went on and on about this game for a 45 minute video. It's one of the longest videos I've ever done. Go check it out down below. Shameless self-promotion. But today I'm here to celebrate the game's release. Uh, I've, I've got some goodies here. Uh, this is the Castlevania 64 Strategy Guide, which was released by Millennium. Uh, they created some other guides as well, like for Metal Gear Solid and stuff like that. And uh, you may see this poster behind me. That's the poster that was included in this guide. I love this guide. I don't remember if I talked about this guide. This is one of the first strategy guides that, like, I'd say top five favorite, one of my top five favorite strategy guides of all time. Because not only is it a good guide, but it also came with a history behind Castlevania. And in addition to that, it had some pretty, like, not, like, very rare, rarely seen art uh, in it. Um, it was published by, uh, I think Gamers Republic was also tied in with it as well because they did ads for it in here. So I don't know if, like, Gamers Republic owned Millennium. I'm not sure how that worked. But uh, yeah, it had a gallery in this guide, and in it there was, uh, you know, some CG art, which was cool. You got to see like some of the unreleased characters, like Cornell at the time, which again, this came out before Castlevania: Legacy of Darkness. So like, I saw that character and was like, "Who's this guy?" Um, there's some great 2D art in here, and it, some of it's really kind of like jokey and cartoony, which is great. <laughs> There's this one right here. I don't know if you could see. That's 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 pretty cool. So, and then one of my favorite pieces of art in this is this page right here with Carrie, and she's just eating a little uh, little veggies there. Looks like a looks like an onion. Yeah, she's eating an onion. And some really cool detailed art of her in this. Uh, just great. Here's one of her eating an egg. Right, and another one with her and a Jason mask. It's it's sick. It's it's such a good guide. I highly recommend this guide. Uh, lots of really great art uh, scattered throughout this gallery. It's really cool. And then, as I said, uh, it's got a little history here. Here's a caller, right, who was not a character that ended up in the game. So it's really neat that they did all this uh, this art for this in, in the guide. And and the, those characters never came out in this game. You know, it wasn't until Legacy of Darkness that they came out. Uh, there's some really cool monster sketches as well. So I, I don't know, I wanted to showcase this uh, in particular because I remember I bought this shortly after the game came out. Cause I was like, man, I'm getting stuck in this game. I need a guide. So I picked this up. Also in my Castlevania 64 collection is something I picked up fairly recently. Uh, this is a sticker sheet, which I talked about in a previous video. It's uh, pretty hard to find out there. I got it on a Japanese website uh, and it's pretty neat. So yeah, here's another little goodie. But there's one goodie, which I haven't shown you yet because I just got it fairly recently. So the timing on this anniversary is pretty interesting. I saw this listing for this poster on eBay and it was a pretty decent price. I think it was about 250 or something like that. And I said, you know what? Eh, it's a little, eh. I was like, but when am I gonna see this again? 
And then the seller dropped the price and sent me an offer and it was just too good to be true. I ended up selling a very expensive vinyl record that I had, like a VGM vinyl record, to afford this because I just didn't have the money and I was like, you know what? I'm never going to find this again, ever. So I have to put this in my collection and here it is. This poster is so rare. There's only been two listings in the past, like in like the last year and I have one of them. It's crazy that I found this. And for the price I got it for, well worth it. It's a big poster too. If you look at some of my other posters here, this is like a full size poster. And this one's pretty big too. So really cool. Yeah, this hung up in the stores and I'm just so glad that I, I love this game. So I'm just so glad that I could add it to the collection. So that's it. Happy anniversary Castlevania 64. 25 years of playing this one. I hope to play it for 25 more and then some and on and on and on. Uh, I really did produce like a true love letter to this game. So if you haven't seen my retrospective review on it, go check it out. I think it'll be well worth your time. As always, thanks so much for watching. I wanted to make this quick video just to say happy birthday to Castlevania 64, one of my favorite entries in the series. And I'll see you soon for more content on the way.